My dream is that we'll develop testing methods that can be applied to clinical practice, that will be able to make a really important contribution to simply understanding cells better. What I find exciting about considering the cell in its entirety is for me personally that I can still conceive of it. I can see the cell. I can see how it squeezes itself into narrow spaces, narrow holes, and I can understand it intuitively. That's what I find so stimulating that I can put myself in the cell situation and know exactly what it's up to. Trinity College, Cambridge an institution with a unique ancestral line of world-famous, award-winning scientists, most famously Isaac Newton. An inspiring environment for cutting-edge researchers like Jochen Guck. A biophysicist by training, he investigates the mechanical properties of cells. Here there is nothing particularly unusual about being the one to receive a Nobel Prize. And knowing this means you go about your experiments quite differently than if you think, well, I'm never going to get one of those, whatever I do. From the college grounds to the science campus. Having worked in Texas and Leipzig, Jochen Guck transferred to the Cavendish Laboratory as a lecturer in 2007, a highlight of his research career. When I arrived here in Cambridge at the Cavendish lab, it was a bit like entering a fairy tale, because so much amazing science has taken place here, and then suddenly you're a part of it. That's a very special experience. It was at the Cavendish lab in 1953 that Francis Crick and James Watson discovered the structure of the DNA double helix, a revolution in our understanding of the evolution of life. Today, molecular genetics is a vast research field. Jochen Guck has chosen a different approach. He does not conduct research on genes, but on living cells. What are their physical properties in relation to their environment, and why? One fascinating example are the retinal cells of the mouse being prepared here. In order to see, light has to travel through several layers of tissue before it reaches the photoreceptor cells on the back wall of the retina, a detour that involves scattering and reflection. Scientists have long been puzzled by this freak of nature. But why do we have such impressive visual faculties nonetheless? The solution lies in the optophysical properties of the cells. Jochen Guck was able to demonstrate that because of the way certain types of cells are constructed, they function as ideal optical fibers for photoreceptors. There are cells that are long and thin and they have a higher refraction index than the surrounding cells. This is exactly the same situation in optical glass fibers, which can transport light over long distances because the light is caught in these fibers. It looks as though the so-called Muller cells function along the same lines and transport the light at least some considerable distance in the retina. In the lab next door, other cell measurements are taking place. The method is infinitely more spectacular because the cells are actually deformed. One of Guck's colleagues is manipulating human blood cells from two sides with laser beams. The cells are caught, fixed and elongated. The softer and more elastic they are, the greater the effect. Guck is looking to establish the optical stretcher as a clinical cell analysis method. We can take a sample from a patient and examine how soft or firm the cells are, and if all the cells are too soft, this will indicate the probable presence of cancer. Or perhaps all the cells are so soft that it is likely that metastases have developed. This means that using this method we can go beyond a mere diagnosis to a prognosis, which is of course much more valuable because you can prescribe the therapy accordingly. The Alexander von Humboldt Professorship is taking Jochen Guck from Cambridge to Dresden in 2012. The biophysicist will play a crucial role in the multidisciplinary research center Biotech. The aim is to interrelate biomedicine, physics and bioengineering more effectively. 
Guk rates this interdisciplinary approach as a major location advantage. That was one of the reasons why I came here, because I saw very clearly defined projects, but after just a few minutes' conversation, it emerges that there is always some point of contact or other, and that's really exciting. I can't even say yet what exactly I'll be doing here. The opportunities are so diverse, it's just phenomenal. Jochen Guck is already a highly respected researcher, even though he's only 39. He has produced outstanding results. I believe he really can help us to drive medicine so that we'll be able to heal diseases and injuries sustainably in ways that we cannot even begin to conceive of today. At present, Professor Guck is in the process of building up a team and setting up laboratories at TU Dresden. One of his first projects is to continue the technical development of optical stretches. In future, he also wants to investigate the mechanisms of nerve cells. At the Center for Regenerative Therapies, there are ideal subjects for research. Zebrafish can cope with even serious brain damage because they have the ability to regenerate and replace the dead nerve cells with neural stem cells. Unlike in humans, this does not produce scarring which inhibits the self-healing process. Genetically, we are closely related to zebrafish and Jochen Guck wants to learn more from the fish's regenerative capacity. His biophysics could one day herald a new era in medicine. I dream of discovering that physical aspects play an important role when nerves don't want to grow anymore and that we could flip a physical switch so that we could make scar tissue softer or firmer and that would then mean, for example, that paraplegics could walk again. A mighty dream.